Hi everyone, this is Stephanie Millward. I just wanted to talk to you about building resilience and do lots of different ways of building, uh, building your resilience, making your life easier, better, you know, more enjoyable. Okay, the first one, let's we'll start off with mental resistance tips. Because like, if you, if you start off with a positive mental attitude, if you start off happy, if you start off positive, your, the rest of your day will be positive. So what I'd love for you guys to do is to wake up in the morning and think about all the things that you are grateful for. Like, are you grateful for, uh, let's say, your 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 mum, your dad, your children, your the person that you love? Are you grateful for the house you live in? Are you grateful for the clothes you're wearing, for the hair that you've got? Are you grateful for uh, the food that you're eating? Are you grateful for the body that you're living in? Think about all the things that you're grateful for. And say, say to yourself, I'm so happy and grateful now that I have got a beautiful body that I'm living in. I'm so happy and grateful now that I have got, I'm married to Adrian, the love of my life. I'm so happy and grateful uh, for my, my family who are so incredible. Be grateful for things. Makes you appreciate all the incredible things that you've got in your life. And feel, yeah, feel grateful for everything that you've got. You know, love it, smile. <laughs> the second one is stress management. I'll definitely do a, some kind of course on stress management and I'll probably give it to you all for free because stress is so, so bad. Like everybody um, everybody starts off with some kind of stress, some kind of worry, some kind of thing that they, that they, they think about and it get, just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. But really stress is only what you create in your own, own mind. It is not real. It is something that your head has created. It's something that that you're worried about but you don't need to be we want you to release that stress to get rid of that stress because the only person that that stress is hurting is yourself so therefore we have to make sure that the stress stays as far away as possible from yourself so you do not want to be stressed at all so release the stress as, as soon as you possibly possibly can it's not good at all so um mind meditation and some kind of mindset work in the morning is also fantastic and before you go to bed at night as be, uh, be thankful for all the things that have happened in that day and do some kind of meditation. I'm sure we'll do, um, we'll run through meditations and uh, let you realise exactly how to do them, what you should cover in each of the meditations. So we'll do that on a different video. Breathing. Another thing that we'll go through in huge, huge detail. Breathing is so, so, so important because like uh, um, breathing is one of those subconscious things. You just do it without thinking about it. But... If I asked you to hold it, hold your breath in for a certain number of counts, like hold it in for four, hold it at the top for two, and then release it for four. Should we try it? So one, in a breathe in, one, two, three, four. Hold it at the top for two, one, two. Now breathe it out, one, two, three, four. You should try that. Breathe it in for four, hold it for two at the top, breathe it out for four and then hold it for two at the bottom. So you should try that quite often because it's so relaxing. It definitely helps the mindset, helps helps everything. And if you can control your breath, it just calms everything down. So it's fantastic, definitely something to do. Another thing you should work on is goal setting. What goals have you got? What would you like to do? I obviously used to, well, I goal, Olympic gold medal, Olympic gold medal, world championship gold medal, this, that, the other. Now I don't have any of those goals. Now it's just to make this business, uh, well, create the business, make it into something wonderful so that I can spread happiness and love and, you know, just positivity to everybody. I want everybody to walk around smiling. Just imagine, just imagine if everybody wakes up in the morning smiling and smiling and smiling, ready for a wonderful day of full of smiles, full of happiness, full of, you know, enjoying themselves. This is why I created Smile Limited. This is why I just want to spread happiness and love to everybody. Just imagine living in a world where everybody said hi to everybody else, everybody smiled at everybody else, and you could do absolutely anything that you wanted to do. Wow, that would be incredible. <laughs> so yeah, um, another one would be, if you are into any kind of businesses, build a, a network. Build a network of friends or colleagues, work colleagues, or build up a number of people. Maybe take somebody, somebody that you don't normally go out for, a, for lunch with, maybe take them out for lunch or for a drink. Or maybe make new friends and try to make a new friend every month or try to make a new friend every every week. 
try and see how many people you can you can make friends with in a day how many people can you talk to how many people can you make a difference to every time you offer a compliment to somebody you are making them feel much better so therefore they'll have a fantastic day so one little smile always has the reaction of making somebody smile in return except if you have a nasty person <laughs> but generally has the reaction of of getting a smile in return so therefore offer the smiles and then people will smile back spread happiness spread hope spread love and if you have any kind of, i don't like finishing on a negative but if you have any kind of failure if something doesn't go quite right think of it as a positive not as a negative the i suppose the people who um, invented the airplanes they weren't able to fly the planes straight away they had to fail a couple of times but from each of the times that, that they failed they learnt lessons they learnt new things they learnt how how the plane was not going to take off if you did this or how something was not going to happen if you did this so think of each bad thing as a positive because it's teaching you a new lesson it's t telling you how not to do something so therefore t t think of every step back as almost two steps forward because it's teaching you more things try and learn something every single day I, at the moment i'm studying quite a few things i love it i love learning i love everything about learning i love it's just increasing my knowledge learning about everything in this world because it's such an incredible world and if you can learn something new every single day even if you get the dictionary out and read through the dictionary what new words can you add to your your life what new thing can you increase today? Try and add one thing every single day. Send me a message. Tell me what it is. Have a wonderful, fantastic, incredible day. Spreading love and happiness and hope to everybody. This world is made for us, remember. We can do anything. Believe in yourself always, forever and ever and ever. Bye-bye.